I'm sorry, Mom. I have to stay late at the office. Uh, no, he doesn't. He's lying to you. Will you be quiet? So if you want privacy, let go of the ring. I'm so glad we came to this Gentile strip club. Howard, here's more bacon to tuck into the Shiksa's G-string. I'll call you back. I think it's lovely you call your mommy and let her know you're going to be late for dinner. From what I know about these things, if a woman doesn't breastfeed on time, it's very uncomfortable for her boobies. Don't you talk about my mother's boobies. If you're offended, let go of the ring and go on home to your mother's boobies. Excellent, excellent. Tire each other out and the ring will be mine. Howard, why don't you go after Raj's mother? But why don't we go after your mother? Go ahead. I have no illusions about my mother. She is a kind, loving, religiously fanatical right-wing Texan with a slightly out-of-scale head and a mild Dr. Pepper addiction. Anything you'd like to add? Oh, that's not going to get you anywhere. Better pull out the big gun. You're right. Let's talk about your grandmother. No. I call no Meemaws. Think about this. The only way your mother was born was your Meemaw had Sex. I don't want to hear this. Then let go of the ring and walk away. Never. All right, I'll bet your Mima didn't just have sex to have your mother. I bet she had sex because she liked it. Stop it. Yeah, Mima did the nasty. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> We're getting to them. Waterfalls. Waterfalls, crashing waves, babbling brooks. What are you doing? Subliminal messaging. I'm going to make you want to pee. <laughs> Dripping faucets, leaky gutter, peeing. It's, it's not working, dude. No, it's working all right. I have to pee.